Welcome back to Beowulf Nation. It's I'm Beowulf, back at it with another video in my 2019 Yamaha GP 1800R. Man, if you haven't seen my last video, uh, it's been a week since I've been out on the water. Uh, it's actually the end of the week, so it's been like a whole entire week. We had some uh, not so great of weather, kind of like a cold front that came through. Today it's like about 85. The last two days was really nice, but I kind of felt like kind of like really drained like out of energy and stuff so I was just gonna ride the last two days I was just like I just was exhausted and uh, recharged gonna get out here on the water and I usually don't ride on the weekends because there is yeah, yeah, a lot more not experienced boaters jet skiers you know the whole but it's not probably the most intelligent time to ride um, especially I was just right before launching the no wake zone some guy uh, jet ski was just blasting straight through there at full speed um, and he could just wreck your machine and stuff that's always tell people be careful exactly right when I came here I see that I'm like that's why I don't come here on weekends uh, but not a lot of people out which is shocking um, and we're gonna have some bad weather the next couple of days where it's gonna temperature drops so it's a couple days and we got a couple days where it's like raining good thing I got my wetsuit I'll throw that on so any of my viewers if you know you've already had the winter eyes because uh, it's too cold and it's crazy because like parts of the Midwest like uh, Minnesota and all that are get already getting hit with snow oh man I talked to my dad uh, he lives in Illinois I was talking to him a couple nights ago he's telling me out there it was like down to low to like below 40 degrees I'm like forget that and then where I told you in the past video he was out musky fishing uh, up in northern Wisconsin the final weekend this weekend it got snow and uh, yeah that's pretty crazy almost out of the no wake zone glad to be down here in South Carolina I'm in North Myrtle Beach right now it's time to let this thing go and uh, let it rip and see what we see it's a nice sunny day sun broke out that's crazy North Carolina got hit by a bunch of storms today that's why I was kind of waiting to see what's going on in North Carolina straight behind me. So, uh, got pretty good open sky. Looks, it's going to be a good video.
that thing has over like 2,000 horsepower. You could tell earlier on, he can't stomp on it from a dead stop. That's why I left him. Then I slowed down, let him catch up. Man, that, I was doing like 85. That thing walked me. That thing has to be doing like at least 120, what I'm guessing. That's crazy. All right, we've been racing. <laughs> we saw the RXTX fail. I'm not even doing uh, beating that. And here we got the Yamaha. It's the fastest jet ski I've owned. We didn't make it quicker. So the next time I run into that guy, we knock the doors off that boat. Holy cow, was that intense. Man, that was fun. Man, I really, I got him and then I slowed down. But I should never slow down. But, because he was already moving when I was accelerating, going real slow. So, if I was kind of dead head to head, it would have been a But it was still epic. That's awesome. That's what I tell you, every time coming out here, you never know what's gonna happen. <sighs>
temperature, how it's kind of changing. Now, one thing I want to address, there are some comments of some people claiming that I spent more money modifying my Yamaha than both the sea -Dews. Uh And actually, the funny thing is, I think most of all, all the specs are listed on iambaywolf.com. That's actually where you can find my iambaywolf merch. And in the description has the modifications listed. Um, when you look at like my RXPX, there's a lot of stuff done. The prop has changed because you require it with the tune, all this stuff. Um, I think it's three times the amount of money I put in my RXPX and my GP 1800R. And what I have to say is impressive when I race that cigarette boat. That thing has 2,000 horsepower. Everybody that lives on the water will tell you that that is the fastest, the fastest thing on the water. You no question, you can tell that. And uh, the Yamaha, I mean, it stayed up. It took them from a dead stop. It, it, that thing isn't like a car. You you wreck the prop on those, gunning it from a dead like slow speed or a dead stop. The build up speed before you let it out. And that's where you can kind of see how that boat operated. And it's cool to run that thing. Um, but when you look at it, the GP is had by GP 1800R has had the least amount of money modified it. Um, basically, it's just a stage one tune with just the ECU reflash, um, the blow up valve for supercharged security on the uh, on the supercharger, the intake. I did the sponsons, which do help with top end speed uh, stabilization and with turning, um, and then having. Um, the ribbon delete is a crucial thing and as an engine oil breather thing basically not much done to it and it's an impressive ski now you look at like the RXPX it has the intake it has the exhaust it has the water box it has the prop it has the oil catch can it has the tune uh, it's a lot of stuff done on that thing and the pr props is definitely what the tune is how high RPM props work is by what RPM you can run this thing and I if you kind of watch this video for whatever reason um, it's running really good today because it's a little cooler and uh, it's it's basically hitting up at redline So I've been kind of like not gunning it as much because of you can see it kind of topping and dropping down. So um, I, I Know like on my sea do it's the, the next mod is uh, Getting rid of that clo closed loop cooling, but I'm gonna be looking at doing one of the skis Do it taking out the supercharger and put in a turbo kit Put in a comment what one you guys think I'm gonna be doing that to. Maybe to the one that's a little bit slower out of the fleet. You guys can guess on that. Um, and I'm definitely looking at doing that. The hard thing out here in South Carolina, we do not have uh, E85, highest octane, I think you can find out is 93. Uh, I really don't wanna be running over 100 something, on t uh, 100 octane. Uh, it, it just would be too costly to come out here and ride. Uh, but the crazy thing is we've been going really fast and look at this the gauge hasn't even moved that's what's impressive about yamaha it's definitely if you're coming out you're looking to get in one of these uh it's the fuel mileage is just amazing on this thing especially even when you modify it it's like sh shocking i don't know how amazing it's going to be once you change like the fuel injectors on them uh but it gets a lot of stock to stock for performance jet ski to get the best gas mileage i will tell you uh out of the Yamaha Sea Dew, Yamaha takes the win with the GP 1800R. So, if y'all concerned about fuel consumption, uh, definitely pick yourself up a Yamaha. I definitely want to get a Kawasaki on the channel. Really want to get a stand up jet ski. So, uh, it, they're hard to hunt down and find. And then I, the 2020s just got released, which look identical as the 2019s. Originally, before buying my 2019 Yamaha GP 1800R, I was going to be picking up a Kawasaki stand up jet ski and a last minute changed my mind and got this because like if you've seen the video with that i'll link it up top originally the only one they had was the red and black one of this and i told them i would buy this if they had the blue one which they did but somebody already had a deposit on it so they switched it out we picked up somebody else something else from another dealer of that color and sold me this one that's the only reason why i primarily got it otherwise i would have been stuck with a stand up jet ski which i think would be awesome getting a channel changing it up I don't know if I'm going to get the Kawasaki 310R uh, modifying those because the supercharger is different. It's more like a blower style 
uh, that's in there that mounted. It's part of the intake manifold. Uh, there's not really stuff to modify to make those really quick. I think that the top you could get out is 75, which is super fast. Uh, but you know, pretty much when you do it, it's it's kind of stuck where it's going to be. So definitely, I don't know. Leave you guys in the comments. And plus two, they got these electric jet skis coming out. I saw this one. They're not cheap, so I don't know. Just figured to share some thoughts of what's going on, and let's return to get back to the ride and see what we see out here. But that's where that cigarette boat lurks, right there.
thinking I'm swimming. It looks like you're working out. Thinking I'm swimming. That is too funny. I don't know what swimmer is like going that quick. I, I'm, Michael Phelps can't go do what this thing's doing. <laughs> cigarette boat I've seen a cigarette boat I think a past video I was out when that thing was out but they weren't going fast I think I've seen it one other time before that boat is hardly ever out and to see the guy she hit it I've only seen him full throttle two times and I'll have to say GP 1800 had it had somewhat of a chance I mean it beat it off the line top end I mean 2,000 plus horsepower man got the power to weight ratio this is lighter but that thing just got tons of power and it's made to go really really fast but man what's the luck what's the luck of running into that that's so cool look at this person not even it's a no wake zone what the heck i tell you that's why i hate it going out here on the weekends it's just people they don't listen to the rules What's the deal? Man, another epic video riding. If you haven't checked out, um, I Am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com. Got the tank tops, got the hats, got the hoodies, got the t-shirts. Good thing with the hoodies is it's getting cooler in different places to keep you warm. Nice thing with the hoodies too, they're a little lighter weight so you can wear them under like a jacket. Um, that's what I like, I wear this really cool old school Terminator 2 leather jacket. So that's what I like is it's lightweight so you can wear it underneath or you can just wear it kind of year round too you know temperature kind of drops it's nice to throw on also too, give me a follow on instagram i am underscore beowulf even though the gp 1800r didn't win today it still held up being the champ out of the jet skis especially modified ones big futures of what's going to happen to the sea do Got some ideas of some other mods to be featured going on with the Yamaha GP 1800R. Stay tuned. Also, too, if you haven't checked out my Amazon store, it's amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. And the cool thing on there is all different types of stuff. So there's like the mount for your spare tire. I got that under a category under jet ski riding gear. You got the jack. Um, you got the bumper, the tie downs. Even the tie downs for the trailer are on there because I upgraded to different ones than what came on the Triton trailer because they rusted. These things are really nice. Uh, also too, you just press a, a switch and they just come right in automatically so you don't have to like crank them back in. It makes stuff really fast and easy with launching and they're working out really good. So good thing also too is when I was out there, I uh, didn't see any trash to pick up, which I was like totally shocked. Um, that's a good thing. Um, 
be driven to win. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it's definitely a treat to be coming out here and to have this nice weather to be going out and going riding and take you guys along for these adventures because like I tell you that's why I like coming here is it doesn't feel repetitive of like oh I'm going to the same spot here there's a chance of seeing who knows what and that's what the cool thing that I love I mean I did not think I was gonna be seeing this cigarette boat I almost took the CDU instead of the Yamaha out and I'm so glad because I no offense to my CDU fans the RXPX it, it would have been walked on even more so um, be driven to win. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Bay Wolf Nation.